you know, give it the old college try. Hi, I'm David the Bruce. This is Jungle Queens, and today we're taking a look at a 1950 film, terrible film, called The Forbidden Jungle. And it stars Alice Lois, or Lewis. Sometimes it's L-E-W-I-S, sometimes it's L-O-W-I-S. And she's um, um, a forgotten star. She's one of the many that uh, came to Hollywood with big dreams. She was born in Hawaii and then disappeared. One of the forgotten women of Hollywood. But she tried. And in, in this film, as you watch it, just, just, uh, you can just see a young woman who's really trying to make it, wants to make it. But the cars didn't fall in her direction. You can't really make it if you don't get good parts, and this one was not. But anyways, you are about to experience a forgotten woman in Hollywood. I wish she would have made it. I think you'll be charmed by her. I'm David the Bruce. searching for a human being, a boy, a boy of the jungle. My only clue, a rumor that had traveled thousands of miles, a rumor that had persisted in spite of scoffing and ridicule. But there I was, the best animal hunter from America, hunting a boy. I felt I couldn't complain. I was being paid very well. After all, money was the only important thing in my life.
in the village. Any orders, sir? Yes. Have the men set up camp. Yes, sir. you, Kirk. You seem to know me. Why not? There probably isn't a hunter in the whole world that hasn't heard of the famous trader Kirk. I'm not trading anymore. I've settled here at Rintan to do a bigger job. Many of us wondered where you had disappeared to. Well, it was nice to know you. My name is Tom Burton. Glad to meet you. But I'm afraid you made your long journey for nothing. Really? Why? Strange you don't know. There's been a principality ruling closing this area to the killing and trapping of animals forever. I was successful in bringing that about. I knew that, Kirk. But my hunt is for bigger game. Human game. And I'm sure you can help me. Pardon me, I ask why you brought this tiger here? I captured him in India. He's a rare specimen of a man-killer. I was on my way back to the States with him when I got my assignment to come here. Fearful of losing him, I brought him along for safekeeping. What about my people? Are they safe? The cage is solid. Nothing will happen, I assure you. Go back to your homes. You look as though you need a... Hot bath and a good meal. Thanks. That's the best offer I've had in a long time. Exactly what I said. The human I'm looking for is a boy. Oh, I suppose by this time a young man. There's a sizable amount of money in it for me if I'm successful. I'll be willing to pay you for your help. You're not the first one who's come here to run down that rumor. No? What did they find? Nothing. We found them. 
They're buried over near the river. This now becomes a challenge. It so happens that my information is very reliable. I've checked with airplane pilots who swear they've seen a boy running with a band of chimps. Could have been another chimp. The men were using high-powered glasses. Whoever is backing you is throwing their money away. I still say it's nothing more than a rumor. No boy exists in there. You must admit it has a solid foundation. Didn't the big game hunter Cyrus Ames, his wife and child, disappear completely in this very area? The bodies of Ames and his wife were found, but there was never any trace found of the child. I heard something about it when I came here. That boy's grandfather lives in the hope that the boy is still alive. He's paying me to trace down the rumor. I see I can't change your plans. But let me tell you something that is not a rumor, but a definite, proven fact. No white man has ever gone into that forest and lived to return. It's known as the Forbidden Jungle. I've spent my life penetrating the toughest parts of the world to get what I wanted. Usually, I've been successful. At least, I've never turned back. I'm moving into Forbidden Jungle tomorrow. Nita! Nita! Your um, daughter, adopted. I've raised her since she was a baby. Dawa. Dawa! That's a strange dialect you used just then. I don't believe I recognize it. What did you tell her? I was merely ordering your permanent quarters made ready. Thanks. You're welcome. You look frightened. What's wrong? A hunter comes. Dear friend sent me to warn you. Go, Mimba!
gone. I mean you too, Gigi. You go to the cave. And what does this hunter look like? Like all others who bring unhappiness to our jungle. Please go quickly. But I must see, dear friend. Now is not the time. Come to Rintan when the moon is high. Then tell dear friend that I will be there. My men have moved on out. I'll let you know how I get along. So you still intend to carry out your plans, searching for something you only think exists? Now more than ever. Superstitions are strong here, and witchcraft is practiced to the utmost. These people live by it, die by it, kill by it. I have a little witchcraft of my own. I dare say within 24 hours you won't have a native who will stay with you in the forbidden jungle. I'll still take my chances. When the baby chimp is left alone through the death of its mother, our native women adopt it and raise it as tenderly as if it were their own. I've heard that happened in the most remote parts of the country, but it's the first time I've ever actually seen it. of unusual things around here. I'll have to hurry to overtake my men. So long, Kirk. Well, aren't you going to wish me good luck? Goodbye, Barton. Have you lost all your good manners? How many times have I told you never to wake me up by jumping on my stomach? Hmm. How about some breakfast? Have huh? Come on, you little rascal. How about some breakfast, huh? Samba, come on. Samba, breakfast. Come on. Come on, boy. Come here, you little rascal. You too. Come on. Have some breakfast, huh? Come on. Come on, Tava. Come on. Yeah. 
Mita! Here! Tower! The White Hunter has left the village. Dear friend wishes to see you. No, Dark One. You stay. Remember well the last time I took you to Rintan. You frightened dear friend's people. I cannot understand it. Dark One can get used to the people, but they cannot get used to him. We go. Yes, Tawa. There are a few things I want to talk over with you. Quite a few things. No, no, Tama. That is not for you to eat. <laughs> Dear friend will not like it if you eat up all his good food. Excuse me. I will put them in the other room for the safety of your dishes. <laughs> Now you be good boys until I get back. As I was going to say, there are quite a few things. All right, Tala, help yourself to the fruit and sit down. because you've never known any other home than the jungle. I found you when you were a little boy, a very little boy. And I settled down here to always be near you. I raised you, and, and with Nita's help, we've taught you everything you know. <laughs> that Nita has warned you about intends to take you away from us. Away from the jungle. If this were to happen, it would be very bad for Nita and me. And you, Tawa, couldn't live in a big city. It would be like taking a tropical flower to the snow country. It would soon wither and die. This must not happen to you. So, promise that you will go to the gorilla caves and stay until this stranger is left. 
Dear friend, I will do as you tell me. But may I not look just once upon the face of this white man? It would be best if you did not. Go ahead, finish your fruit. I had just about completed the crude construction of my quarters deep in the heart of the jungle, I suddenly found the meaning of Kirk's last warning. The villagers of Rintan must have been talking to my natives, perhaps instilling fear in them by telling them the foolish legend. But whatever they were told, I had a feeling that by nightfall, I would be quite alone. human eyes, felt it, yet I, I could see no one. far away from the village. Gigi does not like strangers. Now, go home. A baby lion. Wow. It's Nubi's baby. He must be lost. Wow. I'll take him back to his mama. Baby, Nubi. Better 
better take care. You might lose one. Penetrate a place where no other white man has ever come out of alive, though with a train of natives, is terrifying. But to be left completely alone in it is worse. Yet I became more sure than ever that I would find my boy of the jungle and would soon be on my way to cash the biggest fee I had ever earned. Still, I felt it wouldn't be easy. And then suddenly, when I least expected it, there before me was the strangest sight I had ever witnessed. A boy with the king of the beasts for a playmate. You be sure you don't mean to harm him. Please do as I say. I won't be able to stop him long. Be calm, Mimba, be calm. You will have to put your gun down and start thinking that you will do no harm to Mimba. In all my life, I had never seen such an understanding between human and animal. I took the chance and lowered my rifle. First, I, I couldn't believe it, but I'd played the game so far, and remembering that it was the boy I wanted, not the lion, I decided to comply. Try to understand. An animal will never hurt you if you don't mean to harm him. They seem to sense what you are thinking. Even though you have put your gun down, you must clear your mind and start thinking you will do no harm to him. Thank you. Now I can send him away. Go, Mimba! Leave it there. What I said for Mimba is the same for me. I wondered if this boy had developed the animal instinct of the jungle and could sense my very thoughts. At any rate, I knew my first step was to win his confidence. I assure you, I mean no harm to you or your animals. I did not come here to hunt or to kill but to make friends. Let's shake hands. 
Shake hands? Yes. You put your hand in mine and we shake hands. It's a common gesture among friends. And I might add a great American custom. <laughs> it is not strange the villagers led your natives away. Dear friend always sees to that. Dear friend? Who's that? Oh, you know him as Trader Kirk. He's the one who has taught me everything I know. Oh. I see. He's already told me about you and warned me of the unhappiness you would bring to all of us. Trader Kirk must have had a strong reason for not wanting me to find Tawa. I was beginning to wonder what it was. My quest now took on a greater task as my curiosity began to grow. The more I learned, the greater the mystery seemed. Did uh, Kirk teach you to read too? With the help of Mita, she reads good. <laughs> Here. What is this? Well, it's something to eat. Uh, beans. I brought them with me all the way from America. Uh, go ahead, have some. First, I must let Tama try it. If he'll eat it, then I'll know it's good for me. Tama, come. doesn't like it. That's obvious, <laughs> but he didn't have to throw them away. My rations are limited, you know. Come with me. I have to admit, this does taste better. Don't be afraid. Wise one won't hurt you. I just don't feel comfortable without my gun. I think you frightened him more than he frightened you. You mean to say you cultivate that thing? Wise one is my very good friend. Friend or not, he gives me the creeps. <laughs> oh, watch out. You know, this is not exactly like crossing the street with a green light. What do you mean? Hasn't Kirk told you about people in big cities? New York, Broadway? No. Of these things, I have heard nothing. What is this Broadway? It's the most wonderful place in the world. It's, it's almost indescribable. Some people call it the Great White Way. That's because at night there, there's so many lights, hundreds of them, and most of them advertising the shows. Shows? What are shows? 
Now, that's... That's where they have stages, and, and the actors come out, and they act, and make you laugh and cry. It's like Tamba and his brothers. No. No, there's nothing on Broadway like Tamba that I know of. Tawa, what I'm trying to tell you is, is about civilization. I guess I'm doing a pretty bad job of it. I started out telling you about Broadway because it's always in my mind. I love it. But what I should have told you about is the people. Lots of people, Tower. Millions of them in New York City alone. And that's where I want to take you. To the biggest city in the world. And there you can... You can wear shoes. And, and clothes like mine. Even a hat if you like. And I'll take you by the hand and we'll walk down Broadway. And you can see all of those things for yourself. Can I take Tamba and Mimba and Grumpy? No. No, there's no place for them there and unless you put them in the cages of the zoo. In cages? In a zoo? That's the only place there is for wild animals in a big city. They wouldn't like that. Maybe Nita could go. No. No, she belongs here. I don't think I like this city of which you tell me. We'll see. unimportant the civilization I knew really was. How much of the truth and happiness of living I'd missed these many years. I found myself almost getting soft-hearted, almost making a decision to go back without the boy. But I realized I mustn't allow a fantastic thing to keep me from earning the very large fee. I was still thinking money was the most important thing in my life. Everything one does. 
I had taken every precaution to avoid the dreaded jungle fever. I was burning up. Sala! Sala! Come back! Sala! been pretty sick, huh? If Tao hadn't found you, he would have died. You and Tao have taken care of me. Yes. He hasn't left your side except to get food and herbs to make you well. How long? Twelve sunrises. While you were asleep, you... you talked of taking Tao away with you. You won't do that, will you, Mr. Burton? I... I shouldn't have been talking. You are getting well. I want to thank you and Nita for taking care of me. As soon as I'm able to travel, I'm leaving Rintan forever. You go to Broadway? That's right. The Great White Way? Yeah. The Great White Way. No, Tamba. This time, all of you stay outside. I do not want you to break up dear friend's home again. I must tell you of all that happened. The hunter has been very sick. I know. Nita told me. Thank <laughs> you. 
coming back to strike one. Chawa, let him go. Come back. I got your message. Sir Burton, your prize man eater got away. Where's Tala? He went after the tiger. He'll be killed. Order a pit dug at the far end of the jungle. Send some of your men to my hut. They'll act as beaters. Harry! Oko! Harry! all of your animal friends. No, no. I will make him understand.
trail. My thoughts were only for the safety of Tawa. I had learned to love him dearly. And I knew he did not realize the danger of a man-killing tiger. to be your friend.
Ames, beloved son of Gordon Ames, Helen Ames, beloved daughter of Trader Kirk. I knew by this why Trader Kirk did not want Tawa to leave Rintan. Tawa was actually his own grandson, and he had just as much right to the boy as did my wealthy client. Say goodbye, Kirk. I'm curious to know what report of your findings you make to your employer. We understand each other. The story of a boy living in forbidden jungle has no foundation. I'll prove it was just a rumor after all. And with that report, I'm positive you'll never be bothered again. Biker. Thanks. I felt like one who had been through a long sleep. Could this have been a dream? Perhaps the fever. However, I remembered bringing a tiger with me when I arrived. Or was I wrong about that, too? At any rate, I left Rin Tan with one firm fact imprinted upon my mind. Money was not the most important thing in my life. <laughs>